Good morning. It's Wednesday the 24th of February and this is your morning starter. Press pause on the screen now to give these questions a try. Remember to line up your numbers carefully on your paper at home. We're going to move on to the answers in three, two and one. Here we go. Pause the screen again to give yourself a mark. Remember a tick if you've got it and a dot if not. We're going to move on now to look at the main focus of today's lesson. So today we are following on from the work we did on Monday and Tuesday when we were finding fractions of an amount, like half of a set of counters or a quarter of some cars. Today we're going to use what we know to find out the whole amount of something when we only have a fraction. To show you what I mean, I've got a bar model here. Now I don't know what this bar model is worth. It's a question mark. I don't know the amount, but I do know what one fifth is worth. This is one part out of five parts, one fifth, and it's worth five. I can work out what the whole is, what the whole amount is, using this fraction I'm going to show you how. So if I know that this is worth five, I know every other part here is worth five as well. So one fifth is worth five, two fifths is five and five, that's ten, three fifths is 5 and 5, that's 15, 4 fifths is 20, and 5 fifths is 25. So altogether, all 5 fifths are 25. So I know that 1 fifth of 25 is 5. I can also see this because 25 divided by 5 is 5. When you split 25 into 5 parts, you get 5. Let's have a look at a similar question. So here I've got another bar model, and again, I don't know what it's worth. This time I've got four pieces, so there are quarters, and I can see that one piece, one quarter, is worth four. One quarter of whatever this amount is, is worth four. If I know this piece is four, then I know every other piece is four as well. So I can see here one quarter is four, Two quarters is eight, three quarters is twelve, four quarters, four times four, is sixteen. It's sixteen altogether. Sixteen split into four parts. And I know this as well because four times four, four lots of four, is sixteen. Let's have another go. Pause the screen and see if you can have a go at this one yourself. We've got four parts, so quarters, and one is worth five. If one quarter is five, how much is it worth altogether? Okay, I hope you've had a go. If you haven't, press pause and have a go now. I'm gonna show you how I would work this out. So we know if one piece is worth five, all of the other pieces are worth five. So one quarter is five, two quarters is 10, three quarters is 15, four quarters is 20. So one quarter of 20 is five. And we know this because four lots of five, four times five is 20. And we know that 20 divided, split up into four parts is five. Okay, now we've got a slightly different question. Five sevenths of something is 15. Now this might sound a little bit trickier, but it's dead easy. The first thing I'm going to do is use this bar model to help me. I can see there are seven parts all together. That's my denominator. So I'm going to split this bar model into seven parts as equally as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can see that five sevenths, so five of these boxes, so one, two, three, four, five of these is worth 15. I need to work out what it's worth altogether. Well, if these are all worth 15, one, two, three, four, five, can I share 15 into these five boxes? I could do this using counters or I could do this by knowing my times tables. Five lots of what make 15? Hopefully we know the answer to this one. Five lots of three make 15. So in each of these boxes, 
I should put 3. Let's just check that this does add up to 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We've got it. And if each of these boxes is worth 3, that means these boxes are worth 3 as well. So now I can find out how much it's worth altogether. There are seven boxes, there's three in each box. Seven times three is 21. So I know my whole amount is 21 and five sevenths of 21 was 15. And we've shown that here on my bar model. It's a really, really useful way to help you find out the answer. Now I've got a similar question. Three quarters of something is 15. This time, I'm working with quarters. So what should I split my bar model into? Hopefully you know it's quarters. So let's split our bar model into quarters. We can see that three quarters is worth 15. So let's highlight our three quarters. That's worth 15. So if these three together are worth 15, what's each one worth? Three lots of what make 15? Hopefully we know, this is related to our last one, three lots of five make 15. So each of these boxes must be worth five. Again, let's just add them up and check that does give us 15. Five, 10, 15, we've got it. And if these are worth five, this last box is also going to be worth five. Five, 10, 15, 20. It's worth 20 altogether. And now we can see that three quarters of 20 is 15. The last question I want to look at with you now is, involves a pet shop and some mice. At a pet shop, there are an equal number of mice in a cage. Here are the current number of cages and mice. And you can see here, it looks just like a bar model. We've got four cages, one, two, three, four, and in each cage, we have three mice. So in one quarter, one out of four, how many mice do we have? Let's have a look. In this one box, we have one, two, three. So one quarter has three mice. How many mice are there in two quarters? Well, there are three here, and there are three here. One quarter, two quarters. Three of three is six. In three quarters, here's another three. Three, six, nine. And in all four quarters, or in the whole shape, we've got three, six, nine, twelve. There are 12 mice altogether. It's really, really easy once you've got into the hang of it. I recommend having a go at these questions on paper before you have a go at your team on quiz, uh, your quiz on teams even. <laughs> if you'd like to have a go at a bonus question to help you, pause the screen now and have a go at this question on paper before you begin. I've even given you some boxes here to help you share out your 25 mice. Okay, remember if you've got any questions or if you're feeling stuck, reach out on Ask the Teachers. We'll see you soon. Bye.